In today's episode, we're gonna talk about, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do kind of a quick and simple chain cleaning, quote unquote, and lubricating. The only thing you're gonna need is whatever chain lubricant you're using and, and a rag. Um, so we're not gonna be you know, this isn't going to be a, an in-depth um, degreasing or anything like that. I've got my lubricant here. The one we use at our shop is a wet lubricant. It seems to work out best, but there's, you know, whatever lubricant you're using in your area that works out best for you, great. Um, not a problem. Uh, wet or dry lube doesn't matter. I've got my oil in my little oil can applicator. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place the tip of the applicator here. And really, like I said, this is just a quick and dirty um, job here. You see, I'm not paying attention to any particular links or, or anything like that. I'm just squirting oil on here until I get the chain nice and drippy. You know, I'm getting a lot of uh, oil on the chain as I'm pedaling and it's snaking its way through. It's... Um, it's work, the oil is working its way into the chain. And let's just say I've got enough oil on there now. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna keep pedaling it because if I keep pedaling it, the oil isn't gonna settle and just start dripping all over the place. It's gonna continue to work its way into the, into the chain, into the links. Grab your rag and what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna place the rag on the chain. Just I'm gonna start gripping it really tightly and just keep pedaling. And what I'm doing here, I'm doing two things. I'm sucking up that extra oil that I put on there. I'm kinda cleaning the chain. Cleaning the chain, you say? Well, the oil, uh, most oils that we use, lubricants that we use on the chain are petroleum-based, and they have um, kind of a natural uh, degreasing property, right? So um, applying that extra oil on the chain allows it to loosen up that greasy black tarry buildup that you might have on your chain um, that you can actually see on, on the rag here. And it helps to, to clean it up. So um, you can clearly see I, I've on our showroom bike that really doesn't get a lot of miles, I've, I've cleaned up some of that, that black tarry buildup of, uh, of old oil on there. And what I'm not doing is I'm not taking away the oil from where it needs to be, and that's inside the chain between the two plates and in the pins, the little pivots there. Oil, the rag can't get inside there. I'm only wiping the excess oil off of the surface, but I'm also applying a coat of oil on the surface of the chain, and that helps to act as a moisture barrier. And that's gonna segue into the second part. Um, since you've got your oil out and you've got your rag out already, just go ahead and put a, a few squirts of oil on that rag. And then what you wanna do is on any exposed, you know, screw or metal, and even if you're not quite sure, is this iron or is this aluminum? If you don't know, just take a little, that rag with that little bit of oil on there and just rub it on, on those fittings where you might think Oh, you know, there's a screw on there and I don't want it to start rusting. And what you're doing is you're essentially making a moisture barrier. So that little film of oil is preventing moisture in the air from settling onto that exposed metal part and causing it to oxidize. Um, so that's just, since you've got your oil out and you've got your rag out, you can just start wiping some of these um, nuts and bolts and screws and fittings anywhere where you think uh, it might rust or anywhere where you see rust. Um, and again, we're not getting it so that when you touch it, it feels greasy and oily, but we're just leaving a small, a thin film of oil on there to act as a, a moisture barrier. Last thing I wanna mention real quick, if you do have a dirty drivetrain, um, since you've already got your rag here, you can actually just take that folded rag floss it between um, the cogs like this. I'm trying to get it so you can see clearly. So just stick it between the cogs like this. And then just, again, pedal backwards and, and clean in between the cogs like that. And you can actually see the crease that you pull out from between the cogs, how dirty you can get inside there. So again, you know, this quick, easy thing, this isn't a, a complete drivetrain cleaning where you're taking parts off and putting them in a drivetrain. This is just something that if you've got um, a few, you know, a quick 15 minutes and you haven't um, 
done any maintenance on your chain, you can just really quickly, you can lube it up, 